one of the big things that I want to talk to you about, and I want to thank you, of course, uh, for your show, turning your, you're turning your life into a show, but also what you're bringing to the table for Hollywood, and that is inclusivity. So to open this up, do you feel like things are really turning around in this industry finally? I do. I, 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 really, I really do. And, and it, I, I get scared saying that because you always worry that you say it's getting better and then it stops. You yes. know, because you wonder if the powers that be are listening and they're like, oh, oh, we're doing okay. We can stop now. All right, great. Thank God. It, man, it was <laughs> tough to like understand these other cultures, man. Fuck. Let's get back to making some white people shows. You know, like uh, <laughs> you just worry about that. But no, I do think that there is a generation of people that are, you know, 80s babies or born in the mid to late 70s that really are invested in the American experiment and grew up with other cultures and other people and they're like yo man like life is better when you get outside of yourself and your race and you don't feel siloed by it i think that's a relief for people even even for people of dominant culture it's like it must be annoying to always be that dude <laughs> oh yeah well no I, and i want to bring this up real quick you know what i love about this movie is that it's a coming of age story but one that i feel like i haven't seen before um, and coming of age is my favorite genre of all movies. But to see this with Chinese people in the focus point and like in relatable stories, and I'm not talking about crazy rich Asians where like they were able to use it as a marketing campaign. I'm literally talking about a realistic story. Um, yeah. What was that like for you to, to make that? I mean, it means a lot to me to hear that, that like warms my heart. And, and I know I've done like 30 interviews today, but honestly, man, like to hear that, really means a lot because I just want us to be seen as whole complex human beings. You know, I don't want to be a marketing strategy. And I felt like that's what happened to my story before. And this time, you know, I had a partner in Focus Features. So it was like, no, let's go there. And it was like, I'm finally in a relate. It's like, I've had a girlfriend or two in my life. That's like, no, they like, they wanted to push me to go to that place. And, and, that's really cool. And so um, I, this is what I've wanted my, my whole life is to be able to tell this story from an authentic place that wasn't talking about identity um, from this place of labels and silos, you know? Absolutely. And then last question, uh, what was it like to direct your first feature? It was surreal. You know, I woke up every day, like it wasn't work. I was super excited to be on set. I don't think I've ever been on time for something this consistently. Um, every single day but um, it really felt like a dream come true and even though I've been fighting for it my whole life I think there was a real it was very surreal to be like wait I actually I'm doing it uh, I never I don't know if I actually thought it was going to happen I was just going to close my eyes and keep fighting until it did you know wow crazy well congratulations I am so excited to see what you do next thank you for talking to me today thank you man it was really great all right have a great one you too.